Every device around you has at least one silent decision maker, a tiny symbol that determines whether something comes to life or remains completely still. You press it without thinking, trusting it to work the same way on your laptop, your TV, your coffee maker, and even industrial equipment. Those markings feel universal, almost invisible, yet most people have never stopped to question them. So why do switches use I and O? What looks like a simple design choice is actually the result of engineering logic, international cooperation, and the need for instant understanding across languages and cultures. To understand why these symbols appear almost everywhere, we need to trace where they came from, what they represent, and why they've remained unchanged for decades, right here on History of Simple Things. At first glance, the markings on power switches look like letters, but they aren't meant to be read as part of a word. Instead, they are graphical symbols defined by international electrical standards. The straight vertical line, often mistaken for the letter I, represents the on state, while the circle, which resembles an O, represents the off state. These symbols describe the physical condition of an electrical circuit. When the switch is in the line position, the circuit is closed, allowing electrical current to flow. When it is in the circle position, the circuit is open, stopping the flow of electricity. This abstract visual language removes ambiguity and replaces written instructions with universally recognizable states. The widespread adoption of these symbols came from a need for consistency as electrical devices became global products. In the mid-20th century, manufacturers were exporting appliances and electronics across borders, and relying on English words like on and off was no longer practical. Different languages, alphabets, and reading directions introduced unnecessary complexity and risk. To solve this, the International Electrotechnical Commission formalized graphical power symbols under what is now known as IEC 60417. By defining these markings clearly and encouraging their use worldwide, the IEC helped ensure that a power switch would behave and be interpreted the same way regardless of where a device was made or used. While the IEC defines the symbols as graphical representations of circuit states, many people naturally associate them with binary logic. In computing and digital electronics, systems operate on two fundamental values, 1 and 0. The vertical line closely resembles the number 1, while the circle mirrors the shape of 0. Over time, this visual similarity reinforced the meaning of the symbols, especially as computers became part of everyday life. A switch in the I position feels intuitively active, while the O position suggests absence or shutdown. Although the binary explanation came after the symbols were standardized, it helped embed them more deeply into modern technological culture. Symbols offer practical advantages that text simply cannot match. They require no translation, which eliminates misunderstandings caused by language barriers. They also take up very little space, making them ideal for compact devices where labels would be impractical or visually cluttered. Most importantly, symbols can be recognized instantly. When someone reaches for a power switch, they don't need to read they react. This immediacy matters in both everyday convenience and high-risk environments where hesitation or confusion could cause damage or injury. The I and O symbols communicate their function faster than words ever could. The familiar I and O are part of a broader system of standardized power symbols. One common variation is the combined symbol where a vertical line intersects a circle, 
often used for buttons that toggle between on and off. Another widely recognized symbol indicates standby mode, usually shown as a broken circle with a line. This tells the user that the device isn't fully off, but isn't actively running either. These related symbols follow the same design philosophy, simple shapes that describe electrical states visually, allowing users to understand a device's behavior without reading a manual or knowing the language of the manufacturer. Standardized symbols aren't just about convenience. They play a role in safety and reliability. Misinterpreting a power control can lead to damaged equipment, electrical hazards, or even serious injuries. By enforcing consistent visual language across consumer electronics, industrial machinery, and medical devices, international standards reduce the likelihood of dangerous mistakes. Designers also benefit from these rules because they remove guesswork. Instead of inventing new icons or relying on text, manufacturers can apply symbols that users already trust and recognize. This consistency builds confidence and ensures that technology behaves predictably wherever it's used. The reason switches use I and O is rooted in clarity, efficiency, and global cooperation. These symbols visually represent the most basic electrical concept, whether a circuit is complete or broken, without relying on language. Their adoption through international standards made it possible for devices to be understood instantly across cultures and countries. Over time, their resemblance to binary logic strengthened their meaning in a digital world, even though their origin lies in electrical engineering rather than computing. Today, those two small markings quietly guide how we interact with technology every day, proving that the simplest design choices are often the most powerful. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.